Hey gang, Diana here today. Thanks so much for stopping by the studio and welcome to all of my new subscribers. It's so nice to have you all here with me. And um, I want to do a, qu a little video on uh, sort of an intro to stamp carving, um, more of the materials and inspiration. So I wanted to tell you about this book, Carve Stamp Play by Julie Fifen Bolzer. And this is a really fantastic book if you want to get started. She talks about all of the supplies you need, how to use the supplies, and um, so it takes you from intro, super simple stick stamp carving to much more involved stamps and uh, talks about rotations and combinations and stamping an alphabet. I highly recommend this book. It's the best that I've seen out there, um, although I certainly haven't seen them all. So if you have a recommendation, please let, let us know. Another thing that you'll need for stamp carving is the tools. And the first thing I'd like to start with is the material that you'll be using to carve. And this is from Speedball. It's called Speedy Carve. And I find this to be the best available. The pink stuff I've, I've tried and it seems a little more crumbly. You can use uh, erasers, just those white erasers. They work really well. And I'll probably be demoing some eraser carving. So this is the gouge you'll be needing. It's a speedball gouge and it comes one handle to a package with three or maybe four tips. I think it also has an exacto tip. It has a large V. I think I might have shown this in another video and a, a sort of a squared off V. It, it has all of these. I just have multiples from uh, my classes because I've, I have classes. So I'll be showing you how to put these together, but the tips all fit nicely into the handle. It's um, a definitely a good tool, and they're not too expensive. I'll link to some from Blick down below. The, this material, I used to use a really thick material that is no longer on the market, and I could uh, it's easy to hold to stamp, but this, unless, if you can find something like this that's white, let me know. I'm finding that the whiter things are, the better they work. And I mean that in terms of carving and crumbling. I find crumbling to be really annoying. That's, and I, that's why I don't recommend the pink stuff. You might not find it to be as annoying as I do. I got a piece of this Easy mount, thick mounting foam. It's kind of expensive, but it has, what it is is foam, double stick, not double stick, single stick. It has a sheet of adhesive on this side. This is adhesive. No, it's not. This is the adhesive. And this sticks to your um, acrylic mounting blocks. Let me just reach back and grab one of those. So that if you have this thinner foam, I find it a lot easier to, I mean, it certainly can stamp, no problem. But if, if you're having trouble with this, this one side of this will stick to a block. Just to give you a quick example of how that easy mount works. I've applied it to this stamp here and you can see this gray side. It's it's shiny. I'm sorry about the lighting in here today by the way. And it does, it sticks. Now I've definitely just used double stick uh, tape or tape runner for this in the past. It's no problem at all. I just happened to find this and thought uh, maybe I would try it. Um, so I'm using some of this archival ink from Ranger. I like this ink a lot. And Nina White, 80 pound. I find this paper is super fantastic for, for um, stamping. And you can see that is a pretty nice stamp. Right off the bat, that dye ink will sink 
further into the paper and even out as we go along. But uh, I just wanted to give you a quick show of that and also just some of few of the stamps I made. I This one was, I'll link this to the video. Um, I did another stamping video. So you can see that the supplies are pretty simple for this craft and it's it's pretty basic stuff. You'll also need tracing paper and a pencil and that's about it that I, well, inks um, or paints. And we'll talk about that as we go along. And I just wanted to share this dish towel that Patty Kelly, who I mentioned in another video, sent to me. And she did this. This is all one large plate. And um, I just thought it was fantastic. It really has that wood carved feel um, about it with this grainy stuff. And I love this detail. Uh, check out this. A branch and the owl's feet. It's fantastic and the the abstracted uh, feather here. Um, there's so much that you can do with stamp carving and I know some of you might have uh, experience with the, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a very hard, l leno carving, that's what it's called. It's a very hard surface. I never had any luck with it. And I know that um, some of you might have had done it or are still doing it. And it it's, to me, it, it's a beautiful way to pull a, a print. But anyway, I hope that you'll be joining me in the next, I don't know, over the next few months, um, off and on, I'll be doing this series. And now for the general house cleaning. Uh, make sure that you click to subscribe if you're if you want to see more from me and give me a quick thumbs up down below. And you guys know if you leave a comment, I love it. And it's great to share with this community we're building here. So leave your comment below and click to visit my blog. Also down below you'll see a box that says click to show more or something along those lines. And I always put the supplies that I've referred to or used or a book uh, link to uh, this video as well as my blog post uh, is linked below. So see you soon. Thanks guys.